Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Before I get into the 2D animation stuff in the next video, I want to clarify a few things. First of all, I'm by no means an expert. I have around about six years of experience in Blender and many things have come and go in the years, in the past years. So I'm pretty much up to date, but some things I show could just straight up be outdated, then I'm sorry, because it's very broad, the whole thing. It's basically impossible for me to be up to date all the time, because it's just not my focus point. AI imagery, imagery is my focus point, not Blender. It's just a tool I use for quite a while. So I'm I presume you already know at least the basics of Blender and how to use it. Uh, I can't go in and describe every single detail and the basics. Uh, it wouldn't make any sense because there are already a lot of tutorials how to use Blender efficiently and as a beginner. So I... I don't see any reason to do the same thing twice. So I try to maybe combine my past experience in order to make suggestions, I guess, more of that sort. So yeah, one thing would be uh, you should take a minute and think about how you want to utilize Blender because you can personalize a lot of things. First of all, you have many different over uh, UI overlays for different tasks in Blender. Uh, that's unique to every blend data. So the first tip I would suggest you do, think about basic setups you you are going to use for your projects. For example, like this camera setup we did last time, we can now go in and save it as a blend file. So just make a few, uh, yes, uh, think about how you are going to name this blend because you can basically go in and use it as a template. And every time you want to do this, a specific thing you can open the respective blend datai and you already have the setup ready to go and you just need to import the stuff you want to use so naming convention could be some things like uh, important settings in this blend for example we co can go in and first of all we describe how many dimensions so 2d Two dimensional we can describe the format of the render for example in this example now we have a still image now another maybe useful thing is the resolution we are going to use in the camera that would be 2k and maybe Another setting would be quite important, the orthographic view. So you can go in and just, yeah, write auto. So we have quite a lot of information in a few basic numbers and letters. So yeah, we are going to save this. And now before we in the next video, keep on changing a lot of things. We can basically just set everything in the way we want to be, uh, want it to be, and then we are going to again save it as. But this time we are going to change it accordingly, so it's no still anymore. It will be anim, so animated. And the resolution will probably 512 
because other resolutions would be insane. It would take too long. And 512 times 512 is stable diffusion's sweet spot. And orthographic view will be also the same because we want to animate only in 2D space. So yeah, we go in and save it again. So we have two blend files, one for every time we want to only do a still image. And now we have a second Blender file, which is another template basically for 2D animation for future projects. And this, this is how you can basically go in and structure whole projects and libraries for yourself in order to, yes, save time and just start with what you want to do without needing to set up every single time just more or less a lot of settings which is just really a waste of time since you can go in and yeah basically template just about everything you can even go in and uh, change the defaults when you go in and save startup file uh, every time you would open Blender without any project uh, already opened, it would take this view. How is this? This is set up. If you want to maybe only 2D uh, still rendering, uh, you can go in and save this as default. And every time you already have this set up, you don't even need to open a Blender file or something. That's powerful as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and in the next video we will go in and make something a lot more interesting but also a, mod, a lot more involved. Yes.